the power of the Prince Bishops was actually quite enormous. They had both secular and religious power in total. They had the right to raise their own army, mint their own coin, and they were ambassadors for the country itself. They were as a king. The significance of Auckland Castle is the fact that it became one of the permanent homes of the Prince Bishops and it gave them a really good standing place for the area. It was the symbol of great power and authority and in the 18th century it became the home of the Francisco de Zerberon paintings. Jacob and the Twelve Sons which are significant because they represent the Twelve Tribes of Israel. Not a lot is known about the history of them before the 17th century. They were painted in 1645. The paintings represent the foundation of the Jewish faith and they remain the symbol of religious freedom, tolerance and hope. The castle would be used to entertain. We had some really amazing guests stay here. Quite a lot of royalty. King John stayed here. King Edward III and his wife Philippa stayed here. Queen Victoria stayed here. Also James I. Lewis Carroll was a frequent visitor here and he based one of his short ghost stories on the Scotland Wing. The key features of Auckland Castle, firstly St Peter's Chapel, which is absolutely magnificent. And then as you come through the doors to the alterations and architecture that James Wyatt did for Bishop Barrington, it's just simply amazing. And then you would go into the anteroom, which again was designed and altered by James Wyatt, into the throne room. The high vaulted ceilings are absolutely magnificent. Following the death of Bishop Van Mildert in 1836, and the reforms of the 1830s. The castle became the sole residence of the Bishop of Durham. Now it houses the offices of our current Bishop, the Right Reverend Paul Butler. The absolute power of the Prince Bishops ended with the Reform Acts of the 1830s. At present, Auckland Castle is undergoing a multi-million pound conservation programme, supported by the Heritage Lottery Fund. The future for Auckland Castle is going to be absolutely amazing.